Hi everyone, my name is Shelby and you're watching Read and Find Out. So today I'm going to be doing my penultimate MBTI video, penultimate being the next to last, and that's going to be the first half of the final preference, the final preference being judging versus perceiving. And today's video is going to be my judging book recommendations, but first I'm going to go over what judging is. In the Myers-Briggs type indicator, the judging versus perceiving preference is pretty much how you operate in the external world. So it's kind of like how you extrovert. All of these preferences are kind of on a spectrum. I am moderate on virtually all of the preferences, so I am moderately judging. And judging does not mean necessarily that they are judgmental. Judging has to do more with a need for structure or a preference for structure. Judging versus perceiving has a lot to do with actual decision making, and people who are judging like having their decisions made. They like being decided on something. They don't want to be up in the air about it. They need plans and goals. Judging types need closure. They are probably going to put work over play. They might make lists to help them keep track of the things they want to do. Overall, they're pretty organized people. And when you are a judging type, you are actually using your T or F, your thinking or feeling preference, to extrovert in the world. Which will make more sense when I talk about the perceiving preference, because the perceiving preference falls back on a different preference as well. So in the external world, I feel. I'm a feeler. I make values-based decisions, and it's how I function externally. And the books that I'm going to recommend today either have some very obvious structures in place in the book, which I think judging types would like, I know that I love structure, or they have to do with decision making or consequences of decisions having been made. So what happens once you've decided something? Obviously, again, my disclaimer that just because you're a judging type doesn't mean you're going to love these books. Just because you are a non-judging type doesn't mean that you wouldn't like these books. This is just, I think these books have these kind of characteristics. Starting off with the first one, which I'm not going to say too much about as far as plot goes because I've done an entire spoiler free review, which will be linked in the cards, but that's As Bright as Heaven. This is a World War II historical fiction novel set in Philadelphia, but it's set right around the time of a Spanish flu outbreak, and it's following the Bright family as bright as heaven, but particularly the women in the family. All of the people who are point of view characters in this book are women. So the mother, the three daughters, as they move to Philadelphia to live with family, and the family that they're moving in with is actually an undertaker, so they do the fixing up of the bodies, which is obviously going to be significant given that the Spanish flu is coming. And that's one part of the book that's pretty significant. But there's another part of the book that kind of ties things together very well that has to do with one specific decision that was being made. I can't even say it was being made. This decision was made quickly, the person was decided, and it impacts everybody's lives. And a lot of this book is exploring what happens and what the consequences are of the decision that was made. And I really enjoyed this, more than I anticipated actually, I gave it 4.5 stars. If you want to know more about my in-depth thoughts on this book, then go and watch my spoiler-free review. Just know that making a decision and sticking with it is very important in this book. I think this is just a good judging book overall. If you're a fantasy fan, you probably will not be surprised by this next recommendation. Really this could be a recommendation for an entire author, but I'm going with the one specific series. <laughs> And that's the Stormlight Archive. These books are massive. I actually suspect that judging types might like massive books more than perceiving types because of the structure that can be formed in such a long book. Just a guess. I said that this author, Brandon Sanderson, would probably work well for judging types because he creates very structured magic systems. His magic systems run kind of like science in this world. And if you know me, that is my favorite thing about the Cosmere, other than like cross-planet system tie-ins. His magic systems I'm really a fan of. I like the lack of ambiguity in his magic systems, that I know exactly how things work. All of his Cosmere work is epic fantasy, and the Stormlight Archive is going to be 10 books long. There are currently three books out, all roughly this size, so the amount of planning that has to go on in these books 
is insane, and it's the kind of thing that I think judging types will appreciate. I think that the Stormlight Archive is the most structured of the magic systems that he's created, even though all of them have that structure. I mean, you can always check Ars Arcanum in the back of the book to see the actual structure of the magic system. But I think because there are 10 orders of the Knights Radiant and there are 10 different surges for surge binding, it's just, it all lines up really well. I'm gonna have to put this down here because it's so big. My third recommendation is another one that I've done a spoiler-free review of, which I will link up in the cards, and that is The Big Why. This one is almost dystopian historical fiction, sort of. It is an alternate history in which Nazi Germany won World War II, and this story is taking place in the UK in 2014, and it's following Jessica Keller, who is defined as a good girl. She is hardworking, she makes her country and community proud, she is a rule follower, but then she's having to confront some of the stuff that's going on and some of the values that the society has because her best friend Clementine is rebellious. And I think seeing someone who is definitely a judging type person, someone who likes having things to clear cut and their decisions made, and seeing them start to think differently was very interesting and something that judging types would probably also like. My fourth judging recommendation is going to be another epic fantasy series that is huge, but you probably won't be surprised, and it's The Wheel of Time. This is a 14 book long series, this is the last book. They're all like 500 pages to around this size, so it's it's a chunky series. But Robert Jordan created some of the most well-structured societies. When you get into this fantasy world, which doesn't really have its own name, a lot of people call it Randland. <laughs> You come to understand the cultures in the society, the differences that everybody has, and I loved seeing how intricate everything was. I loved the structure of it, which shouldn't be a surprise given my MBTI. There are also various institutions that you come to understand the structure of, such as the White Tower, which is the home of the Aes Sedai, and even the One Power itself, which is like the power, the magic that specific people can wield that is kind of systematic as well because there are different ways to wield it or to weave it. This is one of my all-time favorite series. It's my favorite series that I've completed at the very least. And I've said this before, but if you like cultural world building in fantasy, which is in and of itself a form of structure, then this will appeal to you. Oh, another book too big to put up by the others. And then my final recommendation is a 2017 release that was phenomenal and the entire plot is centered around a character deciding to act and to do something after a specific event. And that is The Hate You Give. It is not a spoiler that Star Carter, who is a black girl going to a predominantly white higher SES school, is with one of her childhood friends Khalil in the car when he is shot by a police officer after having done nothing. And this book is Star deciding, is she gonna speak out? Is she gonna let other people know that she was the person who saw this shooting happen? What can she do with her voice? And what's the point of having a voice if you're not gonna use it when things are bad? That's actually pretty much a paraphrase from one of my favorite quotes in this book. And it was just so powerful. I cannot wait for the movie that's coming out, I think in November or maybe it's October. Whenever it's coming out, it's in my calendar, and I am so pumped for it. Though I also know it's gonna be hard to watch, like it was hard to read, so seeing it on screen is gonna be something else. And I know that this is, once again, not a story of a character knowing exactly what to do, but it is that need to make the decision and to act that I think would drive judging types to like this book. I think that movements need people who have the judging personality type. I mean, obviously you're gonna need people who are perceivers as well, but specifically in instances like this, to get things done, you need people who are making the decisions or making the plan, the goal that you are striving for. And Star is one of those. But anyway, these are my judging book recommendations. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this video though. Comment down below and let me know if you have read any of these and what you thought of them. And also if there are any books that you think would work particularly well for those of us who are judgers more so than perceivers. I've really been enjoying this series, and I'm kind of bummed that I only have one video left after this, but I do have other series planned for the future, and I will let you know about that probably at the end of the next video, or at least the next MBTI video. <laughs> Thank you for watching, hope you have a good day, and until next time.
，拜。